All right, welcome. This is Dave, ABQ SCNC. We are live on football week, ending football week, with a jumbo box of 2003 NFL football cards. Just getting finishing set up here. If you catch us a replay, I want to thank you for being here. If you are with us live, I want to thank you as well. Getting everything going here. I have been waiting for this box to be able to open it. It is 2003 Tops NFL Football. 12 packs in the box. It is a jumbo pack box. 12 packs, 35 cards per pack. The long-awaited 2003 NFL Tops cards. We do have a couple sponsors today. And we are just getting set up here, getting everything together so that we can break open this box for you. Just trying to get the right angle for you guys here. All right. So once again, we are opening 2003 Tops NFL football cards. 12 packs. It is a jumbo box. 12 packs, 35 cards per pack. 2003 Tops NFL. Looking for autographs and good cards here. We are a little different channel than everybody else. Curtis Elliott, good to see you, sir. How are you? We are a little different channel than everybody else. We are a uh, baseball channel the first week of the month. This is week number two. And right now we are in football week. Week number three, we are a basketball channel. And the last week of the month, we are a mismatch of things. Tops 2003. There are 385 cards in the entire set. There are 12 packs with 35 cards in each pack, giving us about 420 cards. So barring inserts and everything else, we shouldn't be seeing too many doubles. If we do, we are hoping that they are part of the cards we are looking for, top two cards in this set are a Tom Brady and Jason Witten rookie card. So Tom Brady's regular card, Jason Witten rookie card. Other notable cards in this set are a uh, Dexter Jackson card, uh, Andre Johnson rookie card, O.C. Umanyora rookie card, Carson Palmer rookie card. A uh, Brett Favre insert card. A Tom Brady insert. Jerry Rice base card. Emmett Smith base card. Brett Favre base card. And Peyton Manning base card. <laughs> I believe Barry Sanders had retired the year before. He does have some autographs in here, so that would be very sweet. We do have a couple sponsors. There are 12 packs. And I just got the notification that David Freeze has retired from Major League Baseball. Most infamously known for his Game 6 home run for the Cardinals. David Freeze retiring from baseball. All right, so 12 packs in this box. We're going to go left to right. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Or depending on how they're stacked in here, we'll, we'll figure it out once I get the box open. But there are 12 packs. Pack number one goes to C. Rogers. Pack number two is for Curtis. Curtis, C. Elliott on the stream right now. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully we'll get some good stuff for you. Pack number three is for Jackson. And then uh, no, pack num no sponsor for pack number four. Pack number five belongs to C. Rogers. No sponsor for pack number six. Pack number seven, I am giving to T-Unit. T-Unit has been watching us forever. 
And I want to reward him for that by giving him pack number seven. Pack number eight belongs to C. Rogers as well. And pack number nine, another one of our uh, moderators here, Jay Waldeck, Johnny Waldeck, getting pack number nine. And no sponsors for 10 and 11, but number 12, the last pack of the box, will go to C. Rogers as well. So I'm going to leave the, the notes here so you can see which uh, pack goes to who. And Curtis, Monday, man. Everybody's golf. Next tournament is coming up. Uh, hopefully we'll do good for you. I do have a one touch available from our boom box, just in case we pull anything really, really awesome. There are a couple cards that are autographed that uh, hold some really good value in here. I have sleeves for everything else. Um, there are a def couple different types of autographs. There are uh, black parallels, first edition cards, tops gold, and a tops collection. But the autographs, there are regular autographs. There are um, game breaker relics. Hall of Fame autographs, Hobby Masters, Own the Game, Pro Bowl jerseys, Record Breakers, and Record Breaker Autos, and Record Breaker Duels, Record Breaker jerseys, and Rookie Premier autographs. So we're hoping for something awesome. Whether it happens or not, fingers are crossed. Should be good on Monday. We'll get some everybody's golf in and... Hopefully get some good scores to qualify for the finals. And once again, we are opening a jumbo box of 2003 NFL football cards. I bought this box on eBay, so hopefully it's sealed up, which is what I look for when I go on eBay. So we're just going to start opening the box here and figure out how we're going to do these packs. The packs, there are 12 packs. So we're going to decide the order of the packs here. Everybody already that was going to buy in has bought in. This box looks really nice. I'm hoping the pack, packs and the cards inside are going to be awesome. It is really, really chilly here in Albuquerque. It was like 80-something yesterday, and then it dropped down to like 30s overnight. So, big difference. Here's the box. There's like a checklist or something as well with it. Or a sticker. 2003 Tops NFL Football Cards. Use this sticker when completing your set. So like I said, 385 cards in the set. We are pulling about 420. 35 cards per pack. So what we're going to do is we're going to number, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we'll continue on top to bottom till we get to 12. This box top is just being crazy right now. So this one would be pack number one. Look at the size of this pack. 35 cards in here. This is what the, the pack does look like. <laughs> Excuse me. 35 cards in the pack, 12 packs all together. And it shows the odds on the back. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that in there. I'll try to get close, but the lighting's all weird right now. So it says uh, gold parallels are 1 in 5. Black parallels are 1 in 8. Own the games are 1 in 12. Hobby Masters 1 and 6. Record Breakers 1 and 6. Uh, autographs are 1 in 1,435 packs. So odds are not in our favor, but hopefully we can defy the odds. Overall autographs and relics are 1 in 12. So we're probably definitely going to get an auto or a relic. C. Rogers. Welcome, sir. You got a bunch of these packs here. Just going over the odds here. 
It says uh, overall autograph slash relics are one in 12. So hopefully that means there's definitely going to be something in here. We're hoping for some good stuff. Pack number one belongs to C. Rogers. Pack number one is sponsored. C. Rogers is getting everything in pack number one. I got team bags ready to go to put your stuff in. C. Rogers starting us off. Pack number one. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, we can see that. All right. Pack number one. Here we go. 2003. I've been very excited about this box ever since I ordered it. Been waiting for it. The cards feel fantastic in here. And on the back, we already have a numbered card. So we're going to save that. First card is a Rodney Pete, Carolina Panthers. Used to be with uh, C. Rogers Lions. Rodney Pete, look at the design, the blue border. These cards are looking fantastic, C. Rogers. Rodney Pete. On the back, this is what the card looks like. Pretty bland. I was hoping for another picture in the back, but there is not. This is 2003 Tops opening jumbo packs. 12 packs. Rodney Pete with the Panthers starting us off. 2003 Tops NFL jumbo packs. Moose and Muhammad. Used to really like this guy. He was a, a bear eventually, wasn't he, Curtis? Moose and Muhammad, 2003 tops. Javen Hunter with the Baltimore Ravens. Justin is a... <laughs> I was like, Justin? I haven't pulled a Justin yet. Moose is a Spartan. Nice. Des White. Chicago Bears. Des White. A transaction card. Jake Plummer from the Cardinals to the Broncos. I always liked Jake the Snake. Took the Cardinals to the playoffs a few years. Thought it was silly of them to tra trade him over. A lot of players get mad when they get traded. Like, they're so mad at the team that let them go. But realistically, like, it's not that that team didn't want you. It's that the other team wanted you that much, is my theory on that. Steve Smith. We got a Steve Smith, Carolina Panthers. This is third-year card for Steve Smith. He is now commentating. So uh, Gronk is now on the Fox show for Thursday night. What's the over-under before uh, Gronk says a bad word on national television? Any, anybody want to want to say the over-under on how many games it takes for Gronk to start cussing on live TV? Jeff Blake. I was a big Jeff Blake fan when he was uh, with Cincinnati. Mike, this style of play, Jeff Blake, Baltimore Ravens. Next card is a transaction card. Brandon Stokely. Ravens to the Colt. And a Drew Bledsoe over with the Bills after getting replaced by Tom Brady. Traded him over, or did he go as a free agent? I can't remember. I know he went to the Bills. They did okay. They made the playoffs a few years, but could never get there. Marty Booker, we are bearing it up here. Curtis Elliott, Marty Booker. Marty Booker, Des White, they're supposed to be the duo. Just couldn't get it going. Randy McMichael, tight end for the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, Blake threw a great ball. I was a big fan of his. David Givens, hero of one of these Super Bowls for the Patriots. Uh, 2003, this is the year they won their second one, correct? I think. Dwayne Bates, wide receiver for the Vikings. Mark Brunel, T-Unit would have liked this card. Mark Brunel, I was a big fan of this guy. was very happy when he came to the Redskins. And uh, they're 15 in one year. They, I thought they should have won the Super Bowl, but it was not meant to be. They lost in the ASC championship game. I believe that was 1998. I was a Brunel and a Fred Taylor fan. I was a big Fred Taylor fan when he was with the Jags. Bobby Shaw, transaction card from the 
Jaguars to the Bills. Priest Holmes. Priest Holmes was the man in KC for the longest time. KC had that fantastic run game that they really sparked them. They were uh, kind of like how they are now. They scored a lot of points with Trent Green and uh, Elvis Gerbach and also gave up a lot of points because that defense just couldn't stop anybody. Jay Fiedler. Card for the Miami Dolphins, Jay Fiedler. And a Stacy Mack going from the Jaguars to the Texans. Transaction card. Chris Chambers, Miami Dolphins wide receiver. I'm going through this pack here. They're, they're a little stuck, but it's nothing that's like Horrible. They are coming apart right away. Nothing's getting damaged here. Chris Chambers. Dion Branch. Ended up going to, uh, was with Seattle for the longest time. After the Patriots. I think they overpaid for him a little bit. Philip Buchanan. He was supposed to be a great cornerback. Never really panned out, though. Raiders. Tim Brown, another great one. We've seen his cards in some of the sets we've been opening. Tim Brown, back with the Oakland Raiders here. Patrick Ramsey, supposed to take over and do great things. I think his better years was with uh, the Jets, maybe. Kevin Dyson, Mr. One Yard Short, getting traded from. The Titans to the Panthers after that. J.J. Stokes. Another one that was supposed to be awesome out of UCLA. Never really had the top end speed, though. Kelly Holcomb. Quarterback for the Browns. Derek Mason, the other side of that duo. What? Dyson, Derek Mason and Dyson. Mason ended up going to the Ravens, I believe. Thomas Jones, running back for the Arizona Cardinals at the time. He played for the Jets, I believe, as well. Garrison Hurst. He was a pretty good runner. Tore both of his ACLs, I believe, um, one year. Jake DeLome. This is when he started to make his move, going from the Saints to the Panthers. Jake DeLome. And we got a rookie card. This is one of the ones that we're looking for. Usi Yumanyora. We're going to sleeve him up as it's not one of the top two cards, but it is one of the cards that Beckett said to look for. I got the team bags, but I forgot to grab the regular sleeve. So give me just one sec here. Usi Yumanyora, a big part of that Super Bowl run that they had against the, the then undefeated New England Patriots. So we're going to sleeve up Usi. There's OC going in the back. We got a Lion rookie, Artos Penner. C. Rogers, if you can hear me, I don't know if you remember this guy. Artos Pinner looks like a running back for the Lions. Out of, he, he was born in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, lives in Hopkinsville, Kentucky, and played for the Kentucky Wildcats. 2003, 99th overall draft pick for the Lions. Dwayne Robertson, rookie card. For the Jets. And Teo Johnson. Rookie card. For the Raiders. That back one is one of the black parallels. Black parallel for C. Rogers. Going to sleeve this one up for you. Al Wilson. This is the one that was numbered. Al Wilson. 132 out of 150. Let's see if I can get you in on this one. 132. Out of 150, 
serial numbered black parallel. That was pack number one. That goes to C. Rogers. Going to sleeve up. Going to sleeve that up. So the two for C. Rogers in this pack were O.C. Yuminora, rookie card, and a black Al Wilson, numbered 132 out of 150. So give me one sec here. I'm just going to put these in a team bag for him. So that I remember these cards are for C. Rogers. Okay, C. Rogers, you are in a bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to put the sticker, fold it over so it doesn't stick on any of the cards. Just so I remember what goes to what. Don't want to mix any of these up. I could look at the stream again to figure it out, but I'd rather just do it this way. There we go. C. Rogers, pack number one. That was pack number one. I think it was pretty good. Pack number one. Pack number two belongs to Curtis. Curtis Elliott. Pack number two. Pack number two belonging to Curtis. So we're going one, two, three, four. So pack number two is going to be this top right one right here. Curtis, good luck, sir. This is your pack. Pack number two. Still have not found an autograph or a relic card. One in 12 packs for either one of those. So we're hoping for some good luck here. Pack number two belongs to Curtis. Uh, T-Unit, we pulled a OC Humanior rookie card and an Al Wilson black parallel. And uh, Curtis Elliott has pack number two. C. Rogers had pack number one. Jackson has pack number three. C. Rogers has pack number five. And I have given you pack number seven. So we're only on pack number two right now. Still got a little bit to go, but T-Unit has pack number seven. C. Rogers has pack number eight. Johnny Waldeck has pack number nine. And C. Rogers as pack number 12. Going through 2003 jumbo packs of tops NFL football cards. In case you joined us late, we are looking for a Jason Wooden rookie card and a Tom Brady base card. Those are the top two cards in the set. Uh, OC's rookie card was one of the cards that Beckett says to look for out of the top 10 cards in the set. But uh, Tom Brady's base card. And the Jason Witten rookie card are the two top ones in this. So we got Justin Smith. He was great. Defensive end for the Cincinnati Bengals. The packs are fantastic. The cards are coming off just fine. A pre-Washington Redskin Day Clinton Portis card. Denver Broncos. I really dug Clinton Portis when he was with the Broncos. And I was super happy when he came to Washington. I was very sad that we couldn't do anything for him. As I thought, uh, if we had kept Champ Bailey instead of... But here's the thing. Champ Bailey got traded for Clinton Portis. So I liked both players a lot. So I was really happy with the trade and the fact that we got Portis. I was not happy that we gave up Champ Bailey. Delta O'Neal, cornerback for the Broncos. A Dwight Freeney. This has got to be an early card for him. Dwight Freeney. Let's see. This is Dwight Freeney. Second year card. Dwight was a beast his first couple years. 13 sacks in year one. 
Led the league with a red spot here. Nine forced fumbles. Very awesome. Dwight Freeney was a force to be reckoned with. Got the kids watching Halloween movies all, all day today. I think one just ended. So after this pack, um, you're going to have to give me a sec so I can put a different movie on for them. Mike Anderson running back for the Broncos. All these cards are going to Curtis Elliott. Curtis Elliott has all the cards in pack number two. Hey, babe. Darnay Scott. Dennis Northcutt for the Browns. Wide receiver. Troy Hambrick running back for the Cowboys. James Mungro running back for the Colts. Ashley Lilly, he looks so promising his first year. Ashley Lilly just could never get it going. Injuries and everything else just kind of halted him in his tracks. Jabbar Gaffney, wide receiver for the Houston Texans. Once again, all these are for Curtis Elliott here. James McKnight, wide receiver for the Miami Dolphins. Chris Walsh, wide receiver for the Vikings. Don't remember him too much, Chris Walsh. Might have been let go. Ricky Williams. Ricky Williams with the Dolphins. Started out with the Saints. Traded all those picks to get Ricky. And it just, he was good, but really he couldn't do it on his own and they had no picks to get a good team around him. They had to spend way too much in free agency. Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor, pretty good defensive end. For the Dolphins, that Dolphins-Jets Monday game where it just go back and forth. Curtis Elliott, we got you a Tom Brady base card here. That's one of the other ones we're looking for. Going to grab a sleeve for that. Davey. Yeah. Um, put your tablet away, please. Tom Brady base card. Fourth year for Brady, led the league in touchdowns or tied the year before. There he is, Tom Brady, base card. Going to put him in the back until we get done with Curtis's. So we found one of the two cards. The other one we're looking for, the top two cards in the set, are uh, Jason Witten's rookie card. All the rookies seem to be in the back of the packs. So we'll see if that holds up. As we go through, Mark Beauregard, Kansas City wide receiver. Jimmy Smith, T-Unit, there's a Jimmy Smith card. Fred Taylor, Jimmy Smith, Mark Brunel, big fans. McCardell was on that team as well. Jimmy Smith, wide receiver. I think he had like the most consecutive 1,000-yard seasons. Yeah, starting in 96. All the way to 2002, he had over 1,000 yards. I can't remember what record he had. I think that's what it was. Yeah, that, that 98 team I was talking about, I think, before you came on. Deuce McAllister, big time with the Eagles, and then went to the Saints and continued his ways there. Ray Lucas, quarterback for the Dolphins. Ray Lucas. And Christian Foria. Tight end for the Patriots. That was more of a Ben Coates guy, but for you, it was okay. We got Ron Dane on the sideways card. Ron Dane was a beast. Him and Tiki, Thunder, and Lightning. 
Tiki had his fumbling problems. Was not a fan with the team as he was just always talking trash about somebody. There's a sports book or SB Nation video about Tiki and his beef with everybody. Eddie George. Eddie George, great runner. Ended up getting injured at the end of his career and thought he could have done a lot more. Ran a little too upright, I think. Gave himself a... Like, if you watch Le'Veon Bell, like my wife was is a Steelers fan, along with Andy Yen. Le'Veon Bell rarely ever takes a big hit. He'll He'll get tackled, and every once in a while he'll take a big hit. But he moves his body in a way where he rarely takes a big hit, and that's going to help him in the long run. Uh, Eddie George, if I remember right, he was always getting crushed. He would get up and he would still play, but he would always get crushed. Chris Magnum, tight end for the Panthers. Josh McCown, one of his many teams. He's been on like 15 teams, I believe. There was a a video on YouTube where... uh, he almost has had as many, um, like his kids made a video of all his jerseys because uh, he had so many kids that they all fit into his jerseys. Keyshawn Johnson, Tampa Bay Bucks, after being with the Jets, cover boy for Sports Illustrated. Such a controversial one at the time. Just give me the the ball. Really peaked with the Jets. And uh, he was still above average. After going to the Bucks, but never really the same. Mike Allstott, Mr. Do It All, Madden cover boy. They had him at tailback for the longest time when work done was down. Terrell Owens still with his 49er days. That epic catch, what was it, against Green Bay in that playoff game? There we go. All right. Rolling through. See Elliot's pack. Looks like we do have something here. So I'm going to put these, and we're going to go through the rookies first. As it looks like, C. Elliott may have, or yeah, it looks like Curtis might have something here. So we got a Keenan Howry rookie card with the Vikings. Jonathan Sullivan rookie card with the Saints. Kareem Kelly, another Saints rookie, Kareem Kelly. So we're hoping for some awesomeness in Curtis's pack. I know your other guys are hoping for some good stuff. Brian St. Pierre, I used to work, I had a guy that worked for me in Las Vegas when I was supervising at the South Point called Brian St. Pierre. Not the same guy, though. Brian St. Pierre, rookie card for the Steelers. And Chris Sims, rookie card for the Bucks. Lefty. Everybody thought he was going to be awesome. Just really uh, had trouble reading defenses, I think, is what his problem was. And let's see what Curtis got. There is something that is different here. We got a transaction card. Stephen Davis from the Redskins to the Panthers. Chris Redman. Oh, you did put something on. Okay. Did you unplug everything else? Okay. Chris Redman, Baltimore Ravens. And I'm trying not to spoil it here, as there is something. Kenny Watson, running back for the Washington Redskins. It seems to be an offensive heavy set here with tops. So let's see what this is. It's a little thicker, so I'm thinking it's going to be a relic. It is a Pro Bowl Raider, a Raider Pro Bowler. Is it going to be Rich Gannon? Looks like a Pro Bowler from the Raider. Number 12. It is going to be a Rich Gannon. Rich Gannon, authentic player-worn Pro Bowl jersey. Rich Gannon. Congratulations, you just received an authentic player-worn Pro Bowl jersey card of Rich Gannon from 2003 Tops 
football. At Aloha Stadium, the AFC won 45-20. to Very nice card here. Let's see if Beckett says anything about the Pro Bowl. Rich Gannon while I grab a sleeve here. Yes, bub, watch out. Watch your toes, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, bub. Can I, can I play golf with the of course you can play golf. Uh, let's see here. 2003 Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl jerseys. The only one on here is Jerry Rice. It says the commons are about $10. So that's Beckett. Take it for what you will. But we got a Rich Gannon Pro Bowl jersey card. <clears throat> now to pack number two. Just going to put him in a thicker sleeve for you, Curtis. And there he is, Rich Gannon, Pro Bowl jersey card. Jerry Rice, I think it says, was about $30. So there's not too much of a difference, according to Beckett. So that was Curtis's stack. We got Tom Brady's base card and a Rich Gannon Pro Bowl jersey card. Authentic player worn. Pro Bowl jersey. So just going to put Curtis's stack away here. Going to put everything together so I know all this stuff belongs to Curtis. So there are 385 cards in the set of base cards. Uh, we are pulling 12 packs with 35 cards per pack. That's about 420 cards. So with the inserts, we're hoping to not get any doubles. If we do, we're hoping they are of the players we are looking for. So we met the average 1 in 12 for the autos and relics. Hopefully we will find something else in here. It was 1 in every 12 packs to either get an auto or a relic. Hopefully we will defy the odds and have a, a box that has more in it. And that was Curtis. Next stack is for Jackson. Jackson has number three. Yeah, so far so good. Two, two pretty good cards. And a relic in the first two packs. Like I said, I ordered this thing. I was really excited about it because it looked pretty awesome. And so far so good. These things have been pretty great. Uh, if you didn't get the alert earlier, um, David Fries has retired from Major League Baseball, apparently as of today. So this next stack is for Jackson. Pack number three is going to belong to him. And here we go. Pack number three for Jackson. Hoping for some more awesomeness. We found a black parallel card for C. Rogers in the first pack. Uh, O.C. Humanora rookie card. Tom Brady base card. And a Rich Gannon Pro Bowl jersey card. Yeah, so far, and we've only opened two packs. So Jamel White running back for the Browns. Kabir Jabaha Biamila. He is now an announcer. For American Ninja Warrior, one of my favorite shows, American Ninja Warrior. Kenyon Rambo, wide receiver for the Dallas Cowboys. Azahir Akeem, C. Rogers, Lions. He was with the Rams and then moved on to the Lions. I thought they could have utilized him a lot more. Speedy guy. Always in the slot. Derek Ross, cornerback for the Cowboys. Bubba Franks, great tight end for the Green Bay Packers. Amon Green, another great runner for the Green Bay Packers. And another, another Packer card. Three back-to-back -back Packer cards. If you're a Packer fan, this pack was for you. Robert Ferguson, wide receiver for Green Bay. And a lion card, another lion card, Michael Ricks, tight end 
Detroit Lions. You got a transaction card. Chris Claiborne. Remember liking him after uh, Spielman left. Chris Claiborne from the Lions to the Vikings. Transaction card. Hugh Douglas, another transaction card going from the Eagles to T-Units Jaguars. Mark Bolger, his first year was great. Quarterback for the Rams, and then uh, he just never, like, it was always, they, they were always going to the playoffs, but could never make it past there. Curtis Conway used to be with Curtis's Chicago Bears, going from the Chargers to the Jets. Jeremy Shockey ended up winning a championship with the Saints in his giant days. Second year card for Shockey. Terrence Wilkins, kick returner, wide receiver for the Rams. And a Ricky Prohl making his move from the Rams to the Panthers, where he would help them get to the Super Bowl. Jamie Martin backing up for Mark Bulger with the Rams. Michael Strahan, that's another good one. Michael Strahan. Let's see, is that one of the ones it said to look for? It was not. Michael Strahan ended up getting the single season sack record. We talked about this the other day, whether or not Favre just gave him that sack to give him the record. Drew Brees, San Diego card. This is third year card for Drew Brees. I remember watching him play with Purdue. Kerry Collins took the Giants to the Super Bowl and just they couldn't get anything done in the game where he was the quarterback and they went. A weekly wrap up card, Chad Pennington. 2002 season highlight, December 22nd. 2002. A rookie card in the middle, Victor Hobson, rookie for the New York Jets. Another weekly wrap up, Travis Henry. Danny Warfel. Oh man, he was horrible. Danny Warfel played for the Florida Gators, was supposed to be awesome, and just never could get anything going. I think he played for the Saints as well. Rookie card, Sean Thompson. So the rookies were in the front and now are in the back, and now they're in the middle. Trent Dilfer, great with Fresno State, won a championship with the Ravens in 2000. Nobody ever really put any faith in him. He could throw the ball, just nobody ever trusted him to do it. Lamar Gordon, running back for the Rams. Justin Gage, rookie card, Chicago Bears. A weekly wrap-up for Michael Vick. And some more rookie cards. Terrence Newman. He's actually still playing, I think. Terrence Newman. Boss Bailey. A Boss Bailey rookie card. Best name ever for a linebacker. Boss Bailey. I remember really liking him with the Lions. Seneca Wallace. Got to start a few games when Hasselback went out, but was mostly just a career backup. Terrell Suggs rookie card. Look at this thing. We're going to sleeve this up just because it's Terrell Suggs. He's had a really long career. Going to sleeve it up for Jackson. It's not one of the ones that it says to look for, but Terrell Suggs has had a fantastic career. It's bubble on whether or not he's going to be Hall of Fame material. He did win a Super Bowl in the Joe Flacco era. But I think he's going to be on the bubble. And a Larry Johnson rookie card for the Chiefs. Larry Johnson was good for a few years. Could never sustain it. And that is pack number three for Jackson. Another team bag here so we can put all of Jackson's cards in that team bag. That was pack number three for Jackson. Good times, NFL 2003. 
lot of the older 80 stars were making their way out of the game and making way for the next generation of players. All right, getting that one in there for Jackson. Pack number four doesn't have a sponsor. That goes to Jackson. Pack number four does not have a sponsor. Twenty five Perez, how are you, sir? Good to see you. Thank you for joining us today. Pack number four. There is no sponsor for that. So we're gonna put that aside. That is pack number four. This is pack number five. Pack number five belongs to C. Rogers. Pack number five is for C. Rogers. There are twelve packs all together. We have pulled a uh, a black parallel. C. Rogers had pack number one. We pulled a black parallel of Al Wilson that was numbered to 150. Uh, we pulled an OC Humaniora rookie card. We pulled a Tom Brady base card. And Curtis Elliott in pack number two got a relic. It was a uh, Rich Gannon Pro Bowl jersey relic. For Curtis Elliott. All right. So pack number five. Belongs to C. Rogers. C. Rogers is our first ever Patreon member. It is uh, patreon.com. A-B-Q-S-C-A-N-D-C. If you would like to support our work. You are. More than welcome to go check that out. TCC Bat Baseball Channel. I have not watched that yet. I haven't even... Like, I've seen parts of AEW, the new wrestling show. have not gotten a chance to watch all that. But the Baseball Channel, I don't think we get that one. Keith Brooking is the first card for C. Rogers in pack number five. Linebacker. For the Falcons. We got Jamal Lewis running back for the Ravens. Got in a little bit of legal trouble there. Ended up coming back and doing good for them. Todd Heap, this is a Ravens pack so far. Todd Heap, tight end for the Ravens. Looks like the sun's going down a little bit, so I'm going to try to turn this light on. Hopefully get you guys a better look here. Todd Heap, he was okay. He was a little more touchdown dependent going on. It's on YouTube. I'll have to check it out. What do they show? Leon Johnson, transaction card from the Bears to the Rams. Wesley Walls, tight end for the Carolina Panthers. London Fletcher just had his name put on the Redskins Ring of Honor. London Fletcher spent some years with the Bills and spent quite a few years with the Redskins. This year they honored him at halftime by putting his name in the Ring of Honor. John Kitna. If you watch a football life, Carson Palmer was so mad when they got rid of John Kidna and uh, sent him to the Lions. That was one of the things he really wanted when he re-signed his contract was for Kidna to be able to stay behind him. Eric Moles, wide receiver for the Bills. Marcel Ship, running back for the Cardinals. He was always like their third string guy. Tried to break through, but could never do it. Peerless Price. I remember liking him when he first came out. First couple of years were really good. He tried to be a number one or number two. 
but he was best out of the slot with the Bills. Transaction card from the Bills to the Falcons. There is something a little different. It might just be a spacer. We're hoping not see Rodgers. Sammy Knight, safety for the New Orleans Saints. Picture should be getting a little better for you guys. I know the sun was going down. I just had the natural light going. Turn the lights on. Try to get you guys a better picture. Todd Pinkston. You have a... Who's Mikey? Mikey is a Ninja Turtle. No, I haven't. Joe Horan, wide receiver for the Saints, famously known for pulling out that cell phone underneath the goalpost after scoring a touchdown on Monday night. Donald Reese Caldwell. He was okay. Never more than like a third or fourth receiver, though. Donovan McNabb for back-to-back -back NFC Championship games. Won Super Bowl with a loss to the, I believe it was the Patriots. And then ended up going to my Washington Redskins. Johnny Morton, wide receiver for the Chiefs. Kyle Brady, remember really liking him. Tight end for the Jaguars. A couple great years and then really couldn't get it going after that. Ty Law. Great cornerback for the Patriots. Ty Law, him and Lawyer Malloy had the best duo name for a defense. There's the man, Fred Taylor. Oh, man, what he could have done if he would not get injured all the time. He was always spending time on the injured reserve. Such a great runner. Out of Florida. Yeah, 200 attempts. 150 attempts, 290 attempts, and then 30 attempts. He would just could not stay healthy. That 98 team when his rookie year was just their best team ever. Quadri Ishmael, now with the Colts. We saw his card on our last break. All right, so we're going to pull from the back, and we'll see what that thing is. Marcus Trufant rookie card. Very nice card here. Marcus Trufant, rookie card for the Seattle Seahawks. Andre Johnson, there's one of the ones we're looking for. Andre Johnson, rookie card. Going to sleeve that up for C. Rogers. Long time Texan, Andre Johnson. Him and David Carr could never get it going. Carr would always take all those sacks. He ended up going somewhere else. I forget what team he ended up going to at the end. Nope, there's two cards there. And Andre Johnson. Very steady. Kind of like Megatron where just so much wasted potential with this guy because they just couldn't get stuff going with him. Rookie card, Andre Johnson going in the back. Rogers. Nice. Thank you, Curtis Elliott. I appreciate that. So it's TCC Baseball on YouTube. Opens baseball cards. Had a 1,000 giveaway. Bryant Johnson on the rookie card. And a Byron Leftwich rookie card. Byron Leftwich and Tyrone Calico. Left which was, was okay. He just wasn't mobile. Could never get out of <laughs> to unit U. He could never get out of situations like he was always just pocket. Uh, broke his leg, I believe. And I was a fan when he first came out. But uh, he was just not mobile at all. Totally pocket. Um, and that really hindered hindered him. They had a chance... And I think he got hurt, and it, it was just never the same. Jason McAdley got a weekly roundup card with uh, Marshall Falk. Yeah, nobody ever liked David G, though. Like, none of the, the press or anybody ever gave, like, Gerard was a good quarterback, and nobody ever gave him 
the props that he deserved. And um, it, it was always bad from the start. So T unit says David G was a solid replacement. David G was David Gerard, Gerard, however you want to say it. Um, and I, it, it was my belief that he never got the props that, that he fully deserved for being a good quarterback. Trunk candidate. I do think that Gerard was just one of those guys that would just get you. He was just good enough to not want him to be anywhere else. Steve Smith, weekly wrap-up card for the Panthers. A Rashawn Mathis, but he was solid. Yeah, he he. Gerard was definitely solid. All right, Daryl Jackson, wide receiver for the Seattle Seahawks. And Michael Haynes, rookie card for the Chicago Bears. Out of Penn State. All right, so we got a couple more cards here. Weekly wrap-up. There is something that's a little different here. So I'm hoping these jumbo packs are going to give us some off awesome stuff here. Rich Gannon, we found his Pro Bowl jersey card. Terrell Owens, weekly wrap-up card for him. There is a second card here. I'm trying not to spoil the card behind it. LeBrandon Tofield, rookie card for the Jaguars. You won using our channel, Curtis? That is awesome. You won two Fairfield boxes, a Fairfield cube. Uh, me and C. Rogers were just talking about that cube. An 87 tops traded set. Wow. And a team fan pack. Curtis, that is too much. You did not have to do that. I appreciate you greatly, sir. You could have kept all that stuff. Um, the Topps 87 traded set um, will be a big hit with C. Rogers as his first ever card pulling from a box ever was a Matt Noakes out of the 87 Topps traded set. That is awesome. I'm actually uh, thinking of uh, looking for some of the Fairfield Walgreens boxes for mismatch week. Um, spoiler alert, we're going to try to look for a 2018 Tops update looking for the Ronald Acuna Jr. So that should be fun. That's going to be awesome. Curtis, man, you are on it. Thank you for putting us on that channel, and congratulations on winning that giveaway. That's sweet. You and T-Unit are just on a roll. Or on the wheel of names. doesn't matter what channel it is. All right, Brandon. The Brandon Tofield was that card. There is one that's a little thicker back here. We'll see what it is. It is a checklist. A checklist. A super thick checklist. Wow, that's crazy. Number three of three. Look, look how thick this thing is. It's all faking me out. It is a super thick checklist. Showing all the the autograph cards that could have been one in here, plus the Ring of Honor. So that was a fake out. Super thick checklist for Tops 2003 football. That was pack number five going to C. Rogers. Just going to put all that stuff together here. That all goes to C. Rogers, pack number five. All right, here we go. Pack number five. I'm going to put C. Rogers sticker on it. And then we are on to pack number seven for T unit. All right, 2003 Tops NFL Football Jumbo Packs. So that was five. This is six. We're going to put that aside. And this is pack number seven for T unit. And give me just one sec, guys. I'll be right back.
All right, highlights of this box so far have been the black parallel of Al Wilson, Denver Broncos, numbered to 150 that we found in pack number one. <laughs> Excuse me. The OC Human Euro rookie card. Uh, we found a Tom Brady base card. As well as a Rich Gannon Pro Bowl jersey card for Curtis Elliott in pack number two. And then we found a couple other cards. We are still looking for Jason Witten's rookie card. Let's see if there's anything else awesome in here. Looking for more parallels. And this is pack number seven. Going to T-Unit, our Jaguars fan. Second card for Justin Smith that we found. Justin Smith, defensive end, Cincinnati Bengals. And Jawan Dawson, Houston Texans. Peter Warwick was supposed to be so awesome. Had a bunch of uh, substance issues and just uh, could never get it going. Marcus Pollard, tight end for the Colts. Chad Hutchinson, Cowboys got him. Just could not do anything. Quarterback for the Cowboys. Jermaine Lewis going from the Texans to the Jaguars. Jermaine Lewis. He was okay. He was supposed to be a speedy kick returner. He uh, wasn't he like every other or he had a bunch of touchdowns. Six altogether for the Ravens and the Texans. He wasn't much. He was only like 5'5", five, five, maybe 5'6". Five, Joey Harrington, quarterback card for the Lions. Jonathan Wells, running back for the Texans. And a Nate Wayne transaction card going from Green Bay to the Eagles. Jamie Sharper, he was a pretty good linebacker for the Houston Texans. Once again, this is pack number seven. All these cards are going to T-Unit. Zach Thomas rated 99 on Madden for a couple years. Linebacker for the Dolphins. He was great going uh, hash to hash. He was so quick. Travis Miner, running back for the Dolphins. Michael Bennett, running back for the Minnesota Vikings. Troy Brown, wide receiver for the Patriots. I know you're not hoping for a Patriot cards to unit, but I'm sorry, man. A transaction card, Todd Bowman, going from the Vikings to the Saints. Tommy Maddox, XFL champion, Tommy Maddox. Backing up Roethlisberger, Steeler quarterback. Michael Lewis, kick returner for the Saints. Antoine Randall-L famously throwing that pass in the Super Bowl to Heinz Ward to give them the go-ahead touchdown. Antoine Randall-L made big money on my Redskins after that Super Bowl. We overpaid him a bunch. Dante Stallworth, wide receiver for the Saints, ended up going to the Seahawks after that. Santana Moss, bounced back and forth between the Jets and the Redskins. He was always such a deep threat. It was hard to outthrow him, but Jason Campbell was able to do it. Javon Curse, the freak. Javon Curse, great years with the Titans. He got hurt and was never the same after that. Got a Darius Thompson transaction card from the Redskins to the Dolphins. The one time we're hoping for Jaguars to unit and we're not getting any. 
Al Wilson, here's his regular card. We found his black parallel in pack number one. Got Warren Sapp, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Had his great year with the Bucks and then ended up going to the Raiders. Rod Woodson spent all those years with the Steelers and then went to the Ravens and the Raiders. Long career. Rod Gardner, wide receiver. Washington. Ten Redskins. He was, he was good. Wasted a lot of years being with us, but he was pretty good. All right, Ty Streets. This guy, man, just could not do anything. Keenan McCardell. Keenan McCardell ended up starting out with the Jaguars, didn't he? Oh, Redskins, Browns, and then the Jaguars. He was on that '98 team, 15 and one. They were so great. Him and Jimmy Smith. Air McNair, Steve McNair. He's the wide receivers coach now. Very awesome. I always liked McCardell. He was great. Him and Smith were like that whole team was just awesome. Jeremiah Trotter spent a bunch of years with the Eagles and then ended up going to the Redskins. Getting to the rookies. Back half of the pack here. Dominic Davis, rookie for the Texans. Cliff Kingsbury, rookie for the Patriots. We got a Bethel Johnson, rookie wide receiver for the New England Patriots. J.R. Tolver, rookie for the Dolphins. And last card, Ken Hamlin, rookie safety for the Seahawks. T unit, that stack was for you. Going to put Justin Smith over there with Juwan Johnson. Grab a team bag for you for your stuff. That was pack number seven. All those cards are going to T-Unit. My appreciation for him being with us. T-Unit's been here for a while. Want to. Great number of things. Had a good run going on the wheel of names there for a while. That was pack number seven. Pack number eight. Sponsored by C. Rogers. There we go. That one's for T-Unit. C. Rogers gets pack number eight. We're on the back half of this box here. C. Rogers, pack number eight. Going through this box of jumbo packs. 35 cards in each pack from 2003 Tops Football. Uh, Houston versus the Yankees. Who you guys got? Rod Smith, wide receiver for the Broncos. I think if the series doesn't go seven games and they don't wear each other out, whoever wins that series will win the championship. Andre Davis will win the series. Uh, Javon Walker, Green Bay Packers. I am calling it the, the Harper Prophecy. I don't know if anybody else is calling it that or not. But uh, the Harper pro prophecy is that during his press conference after going as a free agent to the Phillies, Bryce Harper said that he was there to bring a championship to Washington. Fantastic. It might happen. James Stewart running back for the Lions. Quincy Carter, so many years as the, as the quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Just couldn't get them past the playoffs. Donald Driver, wide receiver for the Green Bay Packers. 
Edrian James with the Colts. Transaction card, Orlandis Gary. Broncos to the Bills. TJ, who's your mama? That infamous fantasy football commercial was hilarious. I laughed about that thing forever when that guy couldn't pronounce his name. And he's all, TJ, who's your mama? Best ever. TJ, who's your mama? Tim Couch. Supposed savior out of Kentucky for the Browns when they came back. Just a poor offensive line, injuries, could never get it going. He was great with Kentucky, though. Yeah, Josh Allen's been okay. Nothing too flashy. You don't hear about him a whole lot, but I think after this first year, he'll be pretty solid. Rich Gannon, his base card. Anthony Beck. Receiver of that of that pass. Yeah, he had no line. I go with that's not untrue. Ron Dixon, wide receiver for the Giants. Yeah, they they did him dirty those first couple of years. Made him all skittish and he just couldn't get anything done. Tory Holt. The other half of that combo, Holt taking 81 after Oz Zahir. Oz Zahir uh, Hakeem left. He was 88. Heinz Ward, Steeler card, would always hop into the end zone. That was his trademark. Brian Dawkins, Philadelphia Eagles. Let's see what I got here. I got a trivia question that we're going to do on Brian Dawkins. We're going to give something away for all of you that are still here on the stream. What are we going to give away here? We'll give you your choice. Uh, we'll give this away. Got a Robinson Cano 2018 game use jersey relic. From Tops Holiday. For all of you that are on the live stream, this card made me think of a trivia question. It's probably going to be super easy for all you guys. Brian Dawkins with the Eagles, safety, had a locker next to his locker. If you can tell me the name that he had on that locker. It was his nickname. If you can tell me the name that was on that locker, you will win. Robinson Cano. 2018. Tops Holiday Jersey Game Used Relic. It was his alter ego with the Eagles. If you've seen his uh, football life, you should know this right away. But if you haven't, it might take you a little bit. Brian Dawkins. There we go. Trivia question for the day to win that Robinson Cano holiday jersey relic. Chad Pennington. Out of Marshall with Randy Moss. He was all right. He was solid. Got them to the playoffs and then... Hurt his shoulder. He already had Curtis Elliott, Weapon X. You are correct, sir. Based off the Marvel character, Wolverine, Weapon X. There are a couple pictures of him out there jumping like Wolverine onto receivers. Curtis Elliott wins again, baby. Curtis, you are on a roll. Chad Pennington had shoulder surgery. He already didn't have that grave an arm, and it just, he was okay. It was more like Testa Birdie out there. Chad Lewis, tight end for the Eagles. A.J. Feely, career backup. Philadelphia Eagles as well. Joe Juravicious, a couple of years where everybody thought he was awesome. For the Bucks. 
Damian Anderson coming up, running back for the Cardinals. So I will add that Robinson Cano to your pile, Curtis, and get that out to you. Ron Johnson, wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. John Davis, tight end for the Chicago Bears. Got a rookie card, Brandon Lloyd, wide receiver for the 49ers. Plexico Burris got in trouble with that gun incident, got him shipped out of Pittsburgh, sent to the Giants where he ended up making that game-winning catch at the end of that Super Bowl. Everybody remembers the David Tyree helmet catch, but it was the Plexico Burris catch afterwards that sealed the deal for them. Marvin Harrison. Weekly wrap-up card, Mike Doss, rookie card for the Indianapolis Colts. LJ Smith, rookie card, tight end for the Eagles. I remember really liking LJ Smith. They ended up with Selleck and LJ Smith, so they kind of didn't know what to do with these guys. But LJ was pretty solid. Drew Bledsoe, weekly wrap-up card. Bobby Ingram got the Seahawk uniform, Raider logo. Normally they do a transaction card, but not this time. Anquan Bolden rookie card. I really liked Anquan Bolden. Him and Fitz were awesome. Thought they should have won that Super Bowl against the Steelers. That was a miracle catch. Here's the Jason Witten rookie card. Jason Witten. Wearing number 45 in his rookie year training camp. We're going to sleeve that up. Jason Witten back for one more year after being out in the broadcast booth for a year. Healing his body up. Everybody thinks that's what Gronk's going to do. Jason Witten rookie card. Going to C. Rogers. So he got O.C. Yumanura and Jason Witten rookie cards. Taylor Jacobs, wide receiver for the Redskins, rookie card. Musa Smith, running back for the Baltimore Ravens, rookie. And Kelly Washington rounds out the pack. Cincinnati Bengals, wide receiver. Those are C. Rogers cards. Pack number eight is done. Going to grab a bag for him and put his cards aside. Going to put Witten in the middle. Yeah, Weapon X. He even had his own locker right next to his that said Weapon X. Huge Wolverine fan. That's why he would come out of the tunnel crawling around on the ground because he was in Weapon X mode. Uh, four more. Well, actually, not that many because um, not all of them are, are spoken for. All right. Having a little trouble with this team bag. Give me just one sec here. Yeah, Astros versus Yankees. Nationals taking game one last night off a huge performance by Anibal Sanchez. Seven and two-thirds innings of no-hit baseball. Not really a surprise as he did the same thing with the Tigers during their run. Really put a damper on the the good baseball streak that the Cardinals were on. So that was pack number eight. Pack number nine goes to Johnny Waldeck. An appreciation of him as well. 
Johnny Waldeck, I don't think he knows. Like, T-Unit didn't know he was getting a pack out of this break. Johnny Waldeck does not know either that he is getting pack number nine. I don't know if he's on the stream or not. Johnny Waldeck, pack number nine. And then I don't think there's anything sponsored after that until pack number 12, which will be C. Rogers again. So this is for Johnny Waldeck, pack number nine. Bouncing you around a little bit. My apologies. Pack number nine going to Johnny Waldeck. Got a transaction card. Jim Miller leaving Curtis. And the Bears going to Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers getting Jim Miller. Brian Erlocker. I believe he's uh, from New Mexico. Brian Erlocker, Chicago Bears. Let's see if I'm right here. Uh, yeah, college went to New Mexico, UNM. University is right here in Albuquerque, UNM. The Aggies, the New, Me New Mexico State, are a little further south in Las Cruces. But uh, the UNM Lobos, this town is all about them. Work done, Atlanta Falcons. Marcus Robinson going from the Bears to the Ravens. Algie Crumpler, he was pretty good for the Falcons. And Ray Lewis, a Ray Lewis card, Baltimore Ravens, Ray Lewis. Doug Johnson. So we did find the two cards we were looking for. Yeah. He did come back, though, and make amends, I believe. But, yeah, you, you're you correct, C. Elliott. C. Elliott said the Bears did him wrong in the end. Corey Dillon used to really like him with the Bengals. He ended up going to the Patriots during their 18-1 run. Ed Reed, just in the Hall of Fame. Second-year card for Ed Reed. Very, very nice. Ed Reed was a phenomenal safety. Great instincts. Made some huge plays in the NFL. Chad Morton going from the Jets to the Redskins. T units, it's our best chance to get a win. Thank you for being here, sir. Really appreciate you. Sorry we couldn't get better cards for you. Thank you again for being here. There's Plaxico's base card. Yeah, it's our best chance to get a win tomorrow. We'll see if it happens or not. Slash Cordell Stewart going from the Steelers to the Bears. Lamont Jordan running back for the New York Jets. Isaac Bruce, Rams. Yeah, you have a good night too, sir. Thank you again. Sam Cowart, linebacker for the New York Jets. Charles Stackhouse, fullback card for the New York Giants. Not many teams carrying a fullback nowadays. Juszczyk is the most overpaid one right now. And it uh, remains to be seen whether or not he's going to play or not on Sunday. The 49ers uh, rely heavily on his play at the fullback position. Antonio Freeman, after being with the Packers forever. His Philadelphia Eagle card made the greatest catch ever on Monday Night Football that Javon Curse, I believe it was Curse, tried to replicate during the Super Bowl. Brian Westbrook, running back, kick return extraordinaire. We do have something that's a little different in here. So maybe we might have something for Johnny Waldeck here. Vinny Testaverde, quarterback for the Jets. Got a Jerome McDougal going to try to, there we go, we'll do that. Just because there is something that is a little bit different in this pack. Don't want to show it off before we get to it. Jerome McDougal, rookie card for the Philadelphia Eagles. We have pulled a relic. 
and a super thick checklist. So we'll see what this thing is. Tommy Maddox weekly wrap-up card. This card in the back just wants to be shown. Eric Parker, San Diego Chargers. Yeah, full good fullbacks are hard to find. So when you can find a good one, you need to wrap them up because teams, I think in Madden, like in our Madden videos, most of the fullbacks are in the 60s. So finding one that's decent and uh, especially good for pass protection so you don't have to use your your running backs for that. William Joseph, Sean Alexander weekly wrap-up. I think this might have been the year he was doing fantastic and getting uh, the most touchdowns in a season. Doug Gabriel, rookie card for the Raiders, wide receiver. Donovan McNabb, weekly wrap-up card. And Steve McNair, wrap-up card, two of the elite quarterbacks in the NFL at that time. So we do have something that's a little different, so we're going to go from the back here. Just in case, who knows? Kyle Bowler, supposed to be so awesome. Another one that just couldn't get it going. Plus, they had McNair. Carson Palmer rookie card. Here's another one of the ones we were looking for. So we're going to grab a sleeve for Carson Palmer's rookie for Johnny Waldeck. Carson Palmer rookie card out of USC. I remember playing NCAA 04, and that was the year they had Bush, Palmer, uh, Palomalu. Just great times to play NCAA, at least for me. Chris Brown, rookie card. Bobby Wade, Chicago Bears, wide receiver, rookie card. Trying not to spoil what this card is by showing it. Rex Grossman, Chicago Bears rookie card. He ended up with the Redskins as well. Rex Grossman. He fully admitted that he did not watch film or anything. And I think that's when the Bears started shipping him out, when he just was just not prepared for games. Billy McMullen, wide receiver card. Is there anything? Oh, there is another one with it. Billy McMullen, wide receiver card, rookie card for the Eagles. Chris Kelsey, defensive end for the Bears rookie card. And let's see what this is. It's probably an insert. It is a record breaker. Uh-oh, there were some good record breaker cards in Beckett. It is a record breaker. Hopefully it's something awesome. It is a Titan record breaker. Oh, man. Are we going to get something good here? Is this going to be a McNair? It is a Bruce Matthews NFL career most games played by a non-kicker. Bruce Matthews record breaker card. I don't think this is going to be any of the ones that are going to be awesome, but we'll double, just double check here. Record breakers. Yeah, Barry Sanders. Brett Favre, Dan Marino, Emmett Smith, Jerry Rice, John Elway, and Peyton Manning are the record breaker cars to look for. This one still holds a little bit of value as it is one of the common record breakers. And that ends the pack for Johnny Waldeck. We did find a Carson Palmer rookie card for him in pack number nine. It was pretty exciting, hoping we were going to get a record breaker that at least in Beckett had some value, but. I'm going to put Carson Palmer in the middle here for him. I'm going to grab a team bag for him. There is one pack left that is spoken for. That is pack number 12. Pack number 12 belongs to C. Rogers. Probably during mismatch week will be when uh, I open these other packs that are not sponsored as we are coming up on basketball week. All right. That is for Johnny Waldeck. Last pack in the box belongs to C Rogers. Everything else is not sponsored. 
Uh, please like the video, drop us some comments, hit the notification bell to get more videos if you like what you're seeing, and subscribe if you have not to make sure to watch all the videos that we have going on for you. So pack number 12 is the bottom right one. This is for C. Rogers. The rest are not sponsored, so we're going to put these back in here. Set that aside. And this is the last pack. This is for C. Rogers. Pack number 12. NCAA. I never played an NCAA baseball game. I will have to look it up and try it now. I still have my PlayStation 2, as there was a horse racing game on it that I really, really liked. It was uh, called Gallop Racer. They made a couple of Gallop Racers, but the 04 one, to me, is the best. And you guys know I like horse racing. Curtis, you know I like horse racing. Gallop Racer 4 for PlayStation 2. If you ever play a horse racing game in your life, that is the one to play. They made Gallop Racer 02. They made Gallop Racer 03. But Gallop Racer 04 is the best one, at least according to me. Other people might like the other ones. And they have made other horse racing games, but that one to me is the best. Um, I will definitely check out NCAA 06 baseball. We may even do a video on it. But uh, I did not know they made NCAA football, or I, I knew they made NCAA football games, but I did not know they made baseball games. Sounded like an aluminum bat when you hit the ball. That's awesome. All right, last pack. Looks like it does have something shiny in here. So last pack magic, hopefully, for C. Rogers. C. Rogers is our first ever Patreon. Kevin Johnson, our very first football box opening. We pulled an auto of Kevin Johnson out of it. Kevin Johnson. Ed McCaffrey, his son, Christian McCaffrey, now plays for the Carolina Panthers. There's a Gallup Racer app on your phone. This is how out of it I am with phone apps. I will have to check that out as well. Thank you for giving me that information. James Allen running back for the Houston Texans. A transaction card. Emmett Smith, long time, long, long time running back for the Dallas Cowboys. Traded to the Cardinals. Finishes out his career as the all-time leading rusher with the Cardinals. Quincy Morgan, wide receiver card for the Browns. Antonio Bryant, wide receiver card for the Cowboys. They had Antonio, and then they had Dez. Might be the same person. Probably not. I don't know. Is this the same person? I don't think so. Brett Favre. Here's another one that Beckett says was one to look out for. Brett Favre. Last couple years with the Packers here. Aaron Rodgers would take over that team as Favre could not decide whether or not he wanted to retire or not. So they decided to go with Aaron Rodgers after he had backed up Favre for a few years. And Favre ended up going to the rival Minnesota Vikings, taking them all the way to the, AF the NFC Championship game where they almost won that game had it not been for that last Favre interception. David Carr. Bill Schroeder, wide receiver for the Lions. Curtis Martin, really liked him. New England, and then went to the Jets following Bill Parcells. Jerome Pathan, wide receiver for the Saints. LaDainian Tomlinson, great player for the San Diego Chargers. They did him kind of dirty at the end as well. Ended up going to the Jets where he played pretty well for them. Amos Zaraway, he was okay. Zaraway was good. Amani. It's not a tumor, according to ESPN, and I forget what his name is now, the Schwami. Brad Johnson, Bucks, Vikings, and Redskins.
Junior Seau transaction card. Great player, Junior Seau, from the Chargers to the Miami Dolphins. Ended up going, another one of the guys that ended up going to the Patriots during their undefeated season. Thought he would finally get a ring, but it was not to be. Marshall Falk. Did I ever tell you guys my old man won a sweepstakes one year? He would enter sweepstakes all the time. We won twice, I think, like the grand prizes. The first time ever, we won a camping set that included everything you could use to go camping. And then the second time was probably about six or seven years later. We won tickets to any NFL game of his choice. It was 2003, the year the Rams, probably this year, the year the Rams won the Super Bowl. Um, and it was against the Tampa Bay Bucks. It was a Monday night game in 2003 in St. Louis. That's when I got to go to the Gateway Arch, see Bush Stadium from there, when it was still Bush Stadium, actually, and uh, watch the Rams versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tim Dwight, Chargers wanted him in their trade. From the Falcons. Wouldn't take anybody but Tim Dwight. All right. We got some some cards here. So we're just going to separate some of them. So we don't spoil what they are. Rookie cards. Brad Banks. Don't remember you. Brad Banks with the Washington Redskins. Corin Robinson. Dwayne White, rookie card for the Bucks. Corn Robinson, base card for the Seahawks. Tony Fisher, Green Bay Packers. BJ Askew, running back, rookie running back for the Jets. And Maurice Morris, running back for the Seahawks. Last pack, we are rounding down here. Going to pull some from the back. We might have gotten another really thick checklist. Got some rookie cards. Terry Pierce. Dave Ragone. Rookie card for the Texans. Ontario Smith, running back rookie for the Vikings. Lee Suggs, running back. For the Cleveland Browns. Andre Woolfork, cornerback for the Titans. We got a Brett Favre weekly wrap up card. Is that another one that we're looking for? Brett Favre weekly wrap up. It is. All right. Let's leave that up. Not a whole lot on this one, it is one as it is one of the weekly wrap-up cards, but it is one and two Brett Favre cards in the same pack here. Regular base card and weekly wrap-up. Let's see what we got here. We got Sam Aiken, rookie for the Buffalo Bills. Got one more before we get to whatever the shiny thing is. Ed Hartwell. And it looks like another checklist, a really thick one on the very back. There are a couple, looks like, insert cards after that. So we got three of three, and now we got one of three on those super thick checklist cards. I don't know why they did it like that. Maybe to fake people out, thinking it was a relic. Curtis Elliott says his sister and him won $100 from Captain Crunch back in 1985. We found the treasure from the back of the box. That's awesome, man. I remember looking for that stuff. Never found anything. That would have been sweet. That's like a DeLorean back in time thing. Oh man, what do you remember what the what was the treasure? I can never remember what. Oh, that's so awesome. I remember they all had those 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 contests back then. I never personally found anything, but I'm glad to know somebody did. That's sweet. All right, so Ed Hardwell. Let's see what this first one is. This first one is upside down. It is super shiny. It is a Hobby Masters 
And it's a Packer, a Packer Hobby Masters. Let's see who we Hobby Masters 2003. Let's see. We got a Green Bay Packer Hobby Masters. Is it going to be? It is Brett Favre on the Hobby Masters from Tops. There is another one behind it, but Hobby Masters, this is the Brett Favre pack as we got the weekly wrap up, the base card, and now the Hobby Master, which is in Beckett. Hobby Master card. This thing is shining up. There is a ring of honor for Dexter Jackson. This is another one of the cards that it said to look for. Beckett says the ring of honor for Dexter Jackson. It could have had an autograph. Doesn't look like it does. Nope, no autograph, but it is still two of the cards Beckett says to look for. And we got them. There is one of these apparently with the Dexter Jackson with an autograph in it. We're going to sleeve both these up. As both of these cards are in Beckett as ones to look for. I haven't checked them on eBay as I wasn't going to get my hopes up for things that we might find in here. But this is the Brett Favre pack. As we got the base card, we got the weekly wrap up, and we got the Hobby Master card of Brett Favre. C. Rogers with the last pack magic here. And that rounds out the pack. Very, very nice. Hobby Masters. These cards are looking fantastic, too. So we're going to show you what we got in this last one. Hobby Masters, Brett Favre. Ring of Honor, Dexter Jackson. Not the auto. That would have been sweet if we would have gotten that. The weekly wrap-up of Brett Favre. And... The regular base card for Brett Favre. So this was the Brett Favre last pack. Look at this. Three Brett Favre cars in the same pack. Those are going to see Rogers. And that is going to do it. Your mom gave you $20 each to spend. You don't remember what the treasure is, but it gave you an 800 number to call. Uh, there was a... Uh, okay, so this is my story. There was a... Uh, I don't remember, know if you guys remember Knight Rider. The Knight Rider show. Uh, I was like six or eight. I can't remember the age. And they had a 800 number to call for that one. And uh, my parents actually gave me permission to call the number. And I was like seven or eight at the time. So for me, Kit was absolutely real. <laughs> and getting to call Kit was just awesome. It probably cost my parents a fortune for me to call that thing. And I think I was on that call forever. But yeah, we got to call Kid. That's awesome. You got to call Captain Crunch. That's sweet. All right. Putting this last pack together for C. Rogers. He got two super huge checklists. Faking us out, thinking they were relics again. Yes, bub. All right. So here we go. Putting these away. That last super pack was for, yeah. So Kit, you would push numbers depending on what answer you wanted to give kids and he would have different responses for you. All right. This last one's giving me trouble. So yeah, kit night rider, just silly me being seven or eight years old thinking that stuff was real. Uh, some kid apparently did call in. Yeah, Knight Rider Man, uh, Airwolf was super crazy. Airwolf. It always cracked me up with Airwolf. I would always be like, why does stuff always happen when they're really far away from the helicopter? Now they have to run all the way back. And go get the helicopter. But the theme song was cool. Knight Rider. We still love that show. My kids always want to watch Knight Rider. I thought it was great that the same voice that did uh, Optimus Prime was the same voice as Carr. I was like, that's Optimus Prime. Yeah, we still watch Knight Rider. Some guy has a video where he replicated the car. All right, so Curtis, here's your Robinson Cano for winning trivia for us. Robinson Cano from Tops. 
holiday. Seattle Mariners game used Jersey relic. Going to put that with your stuff as well. And that does it for 2003 NFL tops football. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, subscribe if you haven't. Tomorrow we will be going over all of the cards that we pulled throughout the week along with the top 10. Uh, there are a lot of Sunday games, so I will probably just do a video. No, thank you, sir. Thank you for being here, being a part of this channel. Um, I will tell you, without you or C. Rogers, um, I would not have continued with this channel. As a backstory on me, uh, five, I started this channel with five of us. Um, each one contributing to each week of the channel. I didn't want money from them. I just wanted um, help with the cards. And after like the second week, everybody backed out on me. So it's just been me doing this. Um, I, Like I said, without you, Curtis, and without C. Rogers, I did know you guys before now. And uh, without you guys, I definitely would not have kept on with this channel. So I appreciate you two more than you would ever know. So without you guys, this channel would not have continued on after the first month. And uh, we are we are here. We are rolling along. We are on to basketball next week. Going to do things a little differently. We're going to do uh, one box. And uh, we're going to do one side per day on that. And then the week after, we are moving on to mismatch week. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, sir. You have a great day as well. I will catch you tomorrow on the video. And Monday, we will be going live with Everybody's Golf, probably about the same time. Um, if it, it if you need a different time, let me know. Otherwise, it'll be probably about the same time, 1130 We'll try to go live with everybody's golf if PlayStation Network lets me. The last couple times for football, um, it's been off and on whether or not PlayStation Network will let me get on. So um, greatly appreciate you and everybody else. T-Unit, Johnny Waldeck, um, 25 Perez, all you guys, around your boys, Hot Box Cards, Primant, all you guys are uh, are great. And I appreciate all of you. So uh, have a great night, everybody. Hopefully your college teams are doing good and your football, NFL football teams do good tomorrow. Hoping for a Redskins win, but who knows? I don't even know if we know who our quarterback's going to be. I think they are starting Haskins. We'll see. But have a great night, everybody. Stay safe. And uh, thank you for joining us. Give the video a like. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop some comments. Let me know how we're doing or what you think we could do differently. Have a great night, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you again. Bye.